This is the story of Suleyman Chapar. Mehmet Bekler was born in the village of Ekbar, which is in Turkey. After doing his military service, he returned to Ekbar, and he operated the flour mill that his family owned. One day, a man named Mehmet Bayraktar entered the mill, and he went in front of customers who were waiting to have their grains milled. Then Bayraktar said that his need for flour was greater than theirs, and he poured some of his grains into the funnel of the mill. Mehmet Bekler stopped the mill. This made Bayraktar angry. Bayraktar picked up a flour shovel and he hit Bekler in the back of the head. Sadly, Bekler died from this injury. He died in 1965, but Bayraktar was was acquitted because he had good legal defense lawyers. A woman named Hakim lived in the village of Madinli, which is near the village of Ekbar. While Hakim was pregnant with Suleiman, she had a dream that she saw a man on a horse. She asked the man why he was moving toward her. He responded, I was killed with a blow from a shovel, I want to stay with you and not with anyone else. Hakim didn't know who the man was, and at the time, she didn't think the dream was important. In 1966, a year after the death of Mehmet Bekler, Suleiman was born in the village of Madenli. When Suleiman began to speak, he pointed to a stream and he said that he wanted to go to the stream. Later, Suleiman told his parents that he was a miller named Mehmet in his previous life. He said that he was killed by a customer who got in front of other waiting customers. Hakim, Suleiman's mother, decided to take Suleiman to the stream. Suleiman led his mother to a stream and mill. The mill was owned and operated by Mehmet Bekler's family. Suleiman Chapar made 14 correct statements about the life and death of Mehmet Bekler. He made one incorrect statement about his past life and one doubtful statement about his past life. And he made two unverified statements about his past life. The researcher in this case was Dr. Ian Stevenson, a Canadian-born American psychiatrist. He spoke with Suleiman's parents and Mehmet Beckler's family. According to the two families, they did not know each other until they met each other because of Suleiman's desire to meet his past life family. Almost everyone in Mehmet Beckler's family accepted Suleiman as a reincarnation of Mehmet Beckler. The only person who didn't accept the idea was Mehmet Beckler's mother, even though she verified some of Suleiman's past life memories. Because Suleiman had a possessive attitude toward Mehmet Beckler's property, Dr. Ian Stevenson speculated that Beckler's mother didn't accept Suleiman's reincarnation claims because she didn't want Suleiman to own her property. Suleiman really disliked Mehmet Bayraktar, and he said that he would kill him. One day, Suleiman saw Bayraktar, and Suleiman pointed to him and said, He killed me, and he asked his father to give him a gun so that he could kill Bayraktar. Fascinatingly, Mehmet Beckler was hit on the top left side of his skull. This is what killed him. Similarly, Suleiman Chapar was born with a birth defect on the top left side of his skull. His skull was depressed. In other words, it appears pushed inward. It is worth noting that both Mehmet and Suleiman were bald. But I drew them with hair because I wanted to. Here is a photo of Mehmet Beckler. The top left side of the back of his head was pushed inward by a shovel. Now here are two photos of Suleiman Chapar. The top left side of the back of his head appears pushed inward. This is his birth defect. If you ask me, the universe is showing us that death is connected to birth. Mehmet's unusual death mark matched the location of Suleiman's unusual birth mark. At the University of Virginia, researchers found that about 35% of the children who remember their past lives have birthmarks and or birth defects in the same locations as past life injuries. Hey guys, what do you think about Suleiman's story? Let me know in the comments below. And last but not least, have an amazing wonderful day.